den Sauerstofffluss zu starten. Dadurch fallen in der First Class finden Sie Ihre Schwimmweste unter der Armlehne. Hi everyone, um, it's Tammy. So it's been a full week since I've been in Florence, in Firenze. And I haven't really sat down and took the time to like decompress and really soak everything in and talk to you guys. So yeah, that's what I'm here to do. I'll answer a couple questions that you probably are wondering like, why Florence? Why now? It just felt like something that I had to do for myself and my art practice. See the world grow as a person for myself. Yeah, so this is my first time away from home, away from my family, in a new country by myself with people I don't really know that well. Yeah, sorry for the bad lighting in this little talking moment. I'm in my dorm room right now. It's not a dorm, it's an apartment that we share, but this is my bedroom and the lighting here is not that great. I think as far as as personal changes. You know, I've always been sort of dependent on everyone around me, especially like regarding directions, or I've always just followed someone around. But yesterday, I just walked around the city by myself. I just grabbed lunch and I drank coffee across from the Duomo, which is the big, the Brunelleschi dome. Um, it was really nice to just like be in my own, be on my own and it felt totally okay. I feel like sometimes in the US, it's really hard to just be by yourself. I do FaceTime my boyfriend every single day, which has been really nice too, but it's crazy to think like the time difference is like day and night. So I'll go like eight or 10 hours without talking to him and you kind of just have to deal with that. Um, so I do think I'm becoming more, more okay with being by myself. Yesterday, Saturday was my first day of nothing and I, was, I slept in until like 1 p.m. I woke up pretty sad because it was my first time just soaking everything in and it, it was all a bit much. I felt a lot better today because I had breakfast plans and I have dinner plans now. I'm gonna show you the apartment now. So this is me and my roommate's room. Um, we kind of got the short end of the stick because the other room is a lot warmer and prettier. It, it kind of reminds me of a convent, but we have this little office nook. I'm gonna close these windows now because it's getting dark and windows tend to scare me at night. Um, and then the bathroom is right here. I'm drying my clothes with the shower. So outside um, is another bathroom. This is the bigger bathroom that the other two girls share. And that's their room there, but I'm not gonna go in because I think she's sleeping. Here's our cute little archway into our kitchen. We live, um, we don't have that many windows here, but that's okay because most of our days are spent outside. Here's our cute little plastic table. Um, there's Grace, that's my roommate. Hi, Grace. And yeah, yeah, it's kind of messy. That's okay. And yeah, just normal cooking stuff.
I just got out of class. It's raining and it's cold and cloudy. Um, so yeah, I'm walking back home so I can cook something for lunch. I think I've frozen vegetables in the fridge, so I might just do that. Home sweet home. We just got out of class. It's 12 o'clock now. I think I'm gonna cook some lunch before we meet up at the bubbly gardens at like two o'clock. So, I mean, this is what's in our freezer. I got this like Mediterranean vegetable mix a couple days ago. So I think I'm gonna try that. I was just really craving some sort of vegetable. We got lost, yay! We went up this whole hill and we have to go back down. We're trying to go to the, which gardens are we going to? Bobbly. The Bobbly Gardens. And we cannot find it. The entrance is like within the other palace or something. So that's where we're going. I will let you know when we get there. We finally made it. And it's huge! This is what I have so far. I've been sketching for a while now. I'm starting to get really cold actually, but I'm waiting for my classmate over there to finish drawing so I can walk to our meeting spot with him because I don't know where the fuck we're going. But yeah, that's basically what class is like. We just go to a new museum. Um, she lets us loose for an hour or two just to sketch art in our sketchbook. I don't think we have much time left to draw. So I'm gonna have to finish this at home with everything else. Good morning, everyone. One of my roommates tested positive for COVID. Um, we had a pack all of our stuff up within like 20 minutes. We walked like 20 minutes over to the hotel with all of our luggage. I was sweating, I was a mess, but now I'm here and it's actually so nice. I'm like totally by myself now and I've never been totally by myself before, like ever. It, it, it is very different from even just yesterday, I was still surrounded by like three other girls at all times. Yeah, it's very, very different. And it's very, very quiet. That's the heated towel rack that keeps my towels dry and warm. Shower, super nice too.
Oh, look at this box. Oh, that's a gorgeous box. Is that in the video? <laughs> oh, you're still going. These are cool. I, I relate to her a lot. Okay, everybody that went to a different city today. Missing out. Yeah. <laughs>